We are back. I'm still in my little cave that I made earlier. Let me make sure things are all topped off here. Um, because um, my whole reason for doing this was to get more dioxide and um, get this kind of set up here. I'm going to take two of the salvage uh, data uh, things here and we are going to uh, go ahead and very quickly make some nanites out of them just to make some room. Maybe three, maybe three. Because the, the purpose of the salvage data is to um, um, provide resources later. And either way, I win. So here we go. There's this. We're going to do that. stack. I do wonder where it's pulling it from. Okay, here's two stack. 28 seconds is what it's taking here. Yes. Yeah, I, I don't know um, um, how good this is. Yeah. Right. Let me do some counting here. So I got one, two, three, four, five. I like having five slots generally. So that works out. Take this and put this down here. And I'm going to look up. It's now daytime, so we could come out here. I'm just gonna, I'm actually gonna dig the resource deposit here from the inside for a little bit. And then, um, yeah, that's, I think, what we're gonna do. So, I'll get out. This will just sort of take this out real quick. I'm not gonna try and be super refined about it. We're just gonna say that. Maybe one of the reasons I'm on the run is I don't like enclosed spaces, you know? <laughs> on the other hand, I, I was okay in the cavern, so maybe that's not my best story. <laughs> it did. I think that was one of my favorite places stop is under the dioxide or dioxide. It interfered with the sentinel signal and gave me a place to rest for a bit and now I've got 258 um, dioxide so we're a little ahead of the game. Take this and refill my multi-tool. 100%. And let me come over here and I'm gonna have to start picking up more more carbon a little bit because I'm, I'm at 91 <laughs> carbon. Wow, how'd that happen? But I've been making life uh, support gel. So. All right. So what we've been doing this, I'm currently facing south, and really we kind of want to be facing north here. Is um, we've been heading in the general direction of north. Um, and following the planets. Let's see if there's anything interesting in there. There's, there's another dioxide not too far from there. But we're just gonna go ahead head up, I think. Buried mineral formation. If if I didn't have such a limited amount of um I I would definitely get that because I love getting those little glowy crystals. I love saving them up and then popping them for money later.
wanted to get a little away from the sentinel so that I can take a moment and do some quick mining for some of the um, carpet that I don't have right now. <laughs> I don't need a lot, lot, but you need enough to, if you need to make, like, a condensed carbon can or, or whatever. Because we do, do tend to find the, um, the drop pods along this way. Let's see, is that just carbon? Not a lot. It's four. I'm not going to bother with those little bit, bitty ones. Oh, amazing. I'm far away and he still found me. Yeah, that's true. Alright, we're going to kind of follow the edge here, but I'm going to take a look and see if there's anything down there that we might want. How's Sack Venom. Oh, well, that's nice. Up. We are three hours. We're, we're finally, finally making some time away. There's the health restorative there. I'm okay on the health. Um, dioxide is where it was before. So. Okay, so we're going to follow the ridge a little bit so we're not going up and down and up and down. We're just well, I could... Yeah, that's a good idea. I, we might be far enough away that it... Oh, that is a habit. I instantly, apparently, switched to the terrain manipulator as soon as I heard the... <laughs> heard the sentinel even close to me. That is funny. It's funny what habits get kind of ingrained. That should be a lot of carbon. How we're doing? Oh, much better. Two hundred and twenty-two. Whoa, what's that? Ooh, this one's steep. Yeah. But not a lot, no. I I haven't had a lot of ships and I haven't had a lot of um and, and I'm up high in the mountains. If you're gonna have ships fly over normally this is the way they do it. And of course as we're talking, there they are. Look at them go. They're, they're heading north. -ish. Well, it's, it's northeast-ish now. So kind of in the opposite, not opposite direction, but you know, kind of in the opposite direction. Now, one of the things that I was watching another player say is that, you know, if you see those ships, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're flying in the same direction as a, as a building. So, it's nice to see them, but it doesn't necessarily mean what you hope it means, per se. So I have noticed that we are getting a little farther and farther from north um, now. So what I might do is course correct, but that'll take us back that away a little bit. So. Oh! <laughs> I 
bumped right into that sentinel. <laughs> right into it. Fortunately, it did not count against me, apparently. Oh my goodness, look at that patch of sodium over there. And when I was running earlier, that would have been so valuable. I have 300 sodium right now, so I don't need them so much. But it is pretty. Right. Okay, so yeah, I think we're going to head a little north. That's uh, that We'll just kind of like head toward the sodium patch and then... Beer over a bit, yeah. It'll give me a chance to see if I need to scan them or not, you know, because I don't know if I've got those. I do. Well lit. This is a well lit area. <laughs> Gun protection fully. Technology recharge. Technology recharge. Technology recharge. Yeah, it's two hundred and ninety something. We're we're all right here, yeah. We route that way. Yeah. Nope. There's just a lot of mountain between us and, and there, you know. There's knowledge stone over there. Uh, there. Cargo drop over there. There's a knowledge stone over there, but that kind of takes us backwards a little bit. Yep. This way. Yep, just for a little bit. We'll, we'll turn a bit here in a minute. <laughs> we have, we have looked at it before. All right, so if I go to Discoveries, this is what the planet looks like. This is Orano, okay? Um, and if I sort of bump out of here, you'll see it is among the bigger planets on this, in the system. And this system is Corvax. It's uh, fuel generation. Its economy is poor. Uh, and the conflict level is... Uh, Really high. <laughs> really, really high. Yeah, it probably is why I'm having such a hard time finding stuff because that kind of kind of does not bode well for just finding finding. I do not need a tubers. I don't know why I'm stopping there to look at them. Get on. A lot of walk and a lot of run in here. Yep, but at least we're starting to see some ships. So there's, there's, we're probably gonna be a building pop up here fairly soon. over here and do a scan real quick. Up oh, there it is. There's the building. It is a transmission tower. We'll go see if there's any survival huts over there. Now transmission towers, I think, um, they're not like a. I don't know if it's the observatories finds the artifacts for the ships or the transmission towers. I don't know which one it does, but one of these finds a, a ship. 
and I would normally use it to find a ship. Um, but as a fugitive, um, connecting to the net to do that sort of thing would help. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get another passport. And that's one of the reasons that, you know, if I happen to find a pilot who's willing to trade ships with me, I'll be trading ships and identity. Yeah. So I can more effectively say it's not, it's not me, officer. <laughs> yes. Ah. Survival hut. Now, the... In this particular fugitive run, we've, we've basically said that survival huts are okay. That the goal here is just not to interact a lot with the, the system. But if you were on the run, you would look for places of shelter. And these kind of uh, survival shelters act as both, um, uh, you know, like storage. So you'd basically be hiding in the shed. <laughs> You know. All right, now, what's going on here, if you're seeing the green and the red here, this, the model has not come in completely. So that's why it looks good. But it does look cool. All right. I'm looking out the window to see if anyone's seeing me. I can see the entryway there. Nobody's come out, so I'm feeling pretty confident. Yep, so I'm definitely in the shed right now. There's a sentinel over there, so I'm hiding from the sentinel. Just taking a moment and we'll put in some fuel here. Place the sentinel is still over there, but kind of going away now. Running and running. Walking away from that little exclamation point. If I see him, I do try to walk away from him. <laughs> if I don't see him, oh well, you know. I used to get so mad at the, like some of the animals, they have like backward feet. That was until I found out that there really are animals on this planet, on the planet Earth, that have backward looking feet. And then I had to stop being mad about it and realize, you know. Animals are diverse. <laughs> All different kinds. Now if I go all the way around, we're gonna see the observation tower, which was kind of exciting to me. That, that's neat. So. All right. planes going over. So I'm thinking north is, uh, it does seem like they're just kind of covering the ground a little bit more. Now it does seem like they flew over us and then it wrapped around again. So they might be a patrol of some sort. So we're just going to keep on keeping on. Still not far enough, but look the 
We're 600 and some change away from the other one, from the, from the train. Yep, we've been moving on a nice little clip here. And I think part of the difference is I'm not stopping for everything now. I'm just kind of moving forward as much as possible. Oh, oh God. I was far away from that. Oh, I, I walked around the whipper and it still got me. This time I walked into the whipper, so, you know. <laughs> okay, just a second. That looks like... No. At night, those rocks really look like buildings. At a distance, I mean. Oh, something big. Something big, the worm coming down. But it gave me a little time to stop and I do like this planet. It's massive though. Of course, it might need to be massive with a worm that size. over there. Oh, a building! We have a building. Another transmission tower right underneath us. Oh, because I can visually see it. It is right here. Yep. Sneaking around here. Get some carbon while we're here. out the sentinel here. What happens is sentinels kind of roll around the, the area and they scan things, but It's morning now. Yep, we have walked far enough that we're sure it's morning now. I didn't see, I didn't even see the plane. Ish. Yeah. Scanner still recharging, but there is over here somewhere. Knowledge. 
a knowledge stone. We'll go down and get that there. Just a storage space, so it's not going to report back. Therefore, weary travels, and so therefore, always anonymous, you know. Starting to see a lot of knowledge stones, so there's a good chance of finding a monolith here around here soon. Or in one of the directions. You can't really guarantee the directions. I mean, it's either way, you know. But when you start seeing a lot of, like, a trail of, of knowledge stones, if you can get on that trail and you happen to be looking for a monolith so you can, you know, do portals or whatever, that's, that's one way to find them. And the, the closer the knowledge stones are together, the more likely you're going to find something. One thing that would be cool, okay, with all the walking we've done, it seems to me like one of the things that they could consider doing is rewarding you. It's like if you if you walk X thousand whatever, then it would make sense to get like a jetpack module of some sort, even if it was a C class, you know, as a reward for it. And, and thus increase your speed or whatever. You know? here. Oh. Oh. Another, another beautiful freighter. This time it's, um, it looks like it's a freight ship. I could be wrong. I, I sometimes get the ships mixed up a little bit. Very cash. So north and south it is. Expeditionist. Now, now travel 75,000 kilometers for, or whatever that is, yeah. Many, many units. <laughs> Is 
technically, okay, before I started this one, we've been going about eight hours and some change. And, and I'm really glad we're doing it in small, small bites. It'd be really long if we were doing it all, you know, you know, four hours at a time. we forgot to do? And try the map. We're going to do the Sentinel Boundary map. Shall we try that? Yep. Let's, let's try that. That'll free up the space. And... Yes, it would. Sentinel mess revealed. It is off planet. Well, that's nice. It is an off, <laughs> off planet. Well, it would have been nice to be sentinel free, but I guess we weren't gonna have to wait till we're off planet. That is funny. <laughs> it does. I now have an extra spot, so I am not complaining. That is. What I might. Let me switch this around a little There. Okay. Hi. Well, it gives me something to point to, because the truth is, is also, since it's off-planet, and it's on the planet we've been following anyway, that kind of, kind of works out really well. Now I can't lose it when the clouds cover. <laughs> I know, thinking, okay, I'm going to use it to find something on this planet. No, no, apparently not. <laughs> Use one of the life Okay. Those are that's the sack venom here. Now, if I bother this, that will one uh, call the sentinels, and two, I can't do anything with it anyway because you got to have a hazmat gauntlet. You know. They are pretty. Okay, let's see, there's damaged machinery behind me, I passed that, alright, <laughs> yeah it is. Right, we're walking, we're walking. And this way. I just figured since it was low land there it might be might make sense to just take a you know look across. Thousand seven hundred sixteen. We have come, a, you know, gotten quite a few along the way here. Okay, there's 
there's a peak over there. Let's, let's go this way. Scan. Bastard. Hazardous floor. Just a whole lot and not a lot. No, I might go do this. Just I've been thwacked a lot by by those little uh, flippers. Might do a little street repair, symbolically speaking. Recharging. Cargo drop. Dioxide deposit. That one's 690, but you know what? Let's, let's head that way. Gives us the direction to go in. Actually, you know what? Let's let's do there. That way, I could get a little more iron going on. Jack relics. No. I don't know that. How about some life support gel? A microprocessor. Always okay. Okay. Oh, dehydrogen jelly. So that's almost a life. Hold on to the rusted metal for just a little bit. Whoops! Uh, please hold. I, I am going to pause this real quick, and I apologize. My my doorbell just rang.
Resume the stream. I ain't sorry about that. My groceries came a little early today. Uh, so. Okay. <laughs> Walking, we're walking. Oh, uh, I had to pause the stream because the um, groceries came in a little early. They were supposed to come around uh, six, and they are here at five thirty. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so. That's all right. We we roll with it, right? All right. Very cash. Or a good thing. Let's see what happens here. Usually it's nanites. We got a good good uh, amount. I think it ranges. Yeah. It sometimes it's like a hundred and something. And then sometimes it's like 30 something. You know. It's just a certain amount. Of nanites. damage machinery we might be able to get a nice little module out of that let's go see if we can get us a jetpack that'd be great little bit helps. Oh, we got a meteor shower going on. Or, or I guess that was just a column. It's awfully pointy. Oh, that's a rock. Never mind. That's just a rock. charging this is i'm so used to being able to recharge at the normal rate the slow scanning and there is ah, but you know what it's okay at least i have one and great It's just, uh, it's just an oddly placed. Alright, it's a nice tall place to scan from. Frost war, copper, very cash. We'll circle that as a sort of temporary deal. We got a building, unknown building. Alright. Alright. 
That means it's not an observatory, it's not a, um, it's an unknown. Here we go. I learned the word for you, Corvax words. You know, it's, it, it makes sense to have it be in the system. It does. But I sometimes think it should be random. Like you find a random Gek word, a random Viking, a random Corvax, whatever. But it's still cool. I still like I like the idea of it that you learn along the way. Well, well, well. A minor settle. Now what we're gonna do, so next time I know is I'm gonna get a little close to the building but not go in. I'll just hope the guy isn't coming out while I do all this. But this way it should display as, you know, minor settlement from now on. Yeah. The, the, the little icon, you know, it shouldn't say unknown building anymore. It should say minor settlement. But, I got the cleanse hut, the, the, the survival hut. And I got lunch fuel. Oh, lunch fuel. Oh, this one's a little different. Now, I would read the encyclopedia, but that one might send a signal back. So, I can do that because it's connected to buildings and the network. Stones around the area, no network. But these are both storage huts, so. That makes some fair game for taking a moment and taking a breather. Let's uh, check this. And, um... Oh, that's right. I was going towards the dioxide. <laughs> you know what? Let's use some of these ion batteries that I have. I got a bunch of them. Technology recharge. Technology recharge. Technology recharge. All right, now, um, let's see. I think I'm gonna go ahead and carry on. Although this is probably a good place to pause if we're gonna pause. Let's see. Oh, oof, I nearly did it. I nearly blew it. <laughs> the habit of saving and charting, you know? Nice of it to deliberately look away from me. I see you not, stranger. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we've been running about an hour, so another 20 minutes, I think, then we'll call it. And then I'll give me a chance to put away my butter, which I realized I forgot to put in the... <laughs> It'll be fine, you know. I just must remember to put it away.
course, you don't really know how fast you can put away groceries until you're trying to rush it and just sort of throw everything in. There's the refrigerator. <laughs> Later, I'm just gonna leave it on the normal size here. Well, actually, no, I'm just gonna go for the big, big one. Hurry it through here. She nearly runs into this. Into the uh, flipper. <laughs> yeah, I was just sodium nitrite. I got enough. If I found a drop pod, I could do it. Drop. There's a tuber. I'm just looking around to see if there's a building. We've not been to, to yet. The answer is no. All right. I have been. This this has been a better um, run than this, the time that we've had. We found more buildings. We've seen more ships of the small kind. This kind. This kind. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with. I'm seeing a knowledge stone icon and that either means that we're coming up on a monolith or the knowledge stone is kind of underground. Nope, or it's just right over here, that's why. It's just right over here over the hill. <laughs> and we're almost back to a full scanner. That timed out well, didn't it? All right. So that's cargo drop, that's damaged machinery, building. Good. I'm, I'm glad to have the nanites. <laughs> I have 4,812 nanites accumulated a, uh, over the course of this uh, long walk.
Drop pod! Drop, drop pod! Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, this is it. Then we're gonna, our tradition is... <laughs> tradition is we stop at the drop pod. But, look at that. Look at that beautiful thing. Alright, and I don't even have to make it. I have it. So, I'm gonna make a... Carbon nanotube. I'm gonna make the housing. Alright, so I think the next one we're gonna do is this one right here. This, this spot right there, I think. Yeah, kind of just to fill it out. And then we can start filling just the general holes, you know, just, yeah. And, and then and the next one I'll do is maybe the technology, because I'll feel better once I have a little extra technology space. Go. Awesome. All right, so we're gonna fill in some of this, uh, like our energies here. Technology recharge. Technology recharge. Well, what a great run recharge. today. That was very nice. If we can sit down. Got Take a look at the time here. All right, yeah, that works out really well. I accidentally stood up, but that's all right. Sit down again. No, no need for alarm, alternate self. Alright, so we're going to quit to the title screen here, and, and I think we did had a really nice run. We're still at only 19,000 units, but we've got to the salvage data for when we encounter a pilot, so we're going to make money then. Um, we have made a lot of nanites over the walk. 4,812. So, I think we're doing really, really well. So, soon, soon we're going to find a ship, I think. All right, so thank you for watching. I am going to go ahead and um, call it good here. Have a great night.